I'm pretty sure you've heard either people say this or use this sound on especially TikTok. Your fear of being seen or your fear of looking stupid is holding you back from success. Let's talk about it, okay? So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about a topic that I feel like is not new to you. I'm pretty sure you've heard either people say this or use this sound on especially TikTok. Your fear of being seen or your fear of looking stupid is holding you back from success. So when it comes to the topic of fear as a whole, I love to talk about it because I feel like a lot of people don't share insight or awareness on how dangerous fear is in our lives as human beings. I am I'm one person that dealt with fear for the longest time and this is not to say that i'm not scared right now or i've completely eliminated fear in my life i still do have you know areas where i need to work on when it comes to fear and anxiety anxiety is a whole different topic but it goes hand in hand but i've been dealing with anxiety for pretty much almost all my life when people are addressing situations or dealing with situations in their life they don't know that fear is the reason why they make certain choices or certain decisions in their life they don't know that they're scared or they don't think they're scared or for the most part they might be embarrassed to even admit that they're scared now specifically talking about the fear of looking stupid or the fear of being seen holding you back from success it is a miracle that i even have this channel a miracle that i'm even here confidently speaking to you guys on camera because my fear of looking stupid mm, sis when i finally beat that self-sabotaging that fear of like you know having a youtube channel and speaking and putting myself out there being seen i started posting videos right then i got to the point where i couldn't even post videos that i actually wanted to post because i felt like what gave me the credentials to talk about certain topics which i'm actually doing right now still don't have the credentials but i have the life experience to back it up okay but at the time i didn't think anyone want to listen to me that was exactly my thoughts about making self-development content or actually even speaking about matters or topics on the internet because i felt like what gave me the right to what gave me the credentials to people are gonna laugh at me i'm going to sound stupid i'm going to sound dumb that's me doing too much i should actually just sit my ass down and do hair videos and makeup videos like everyone else is that's what i was doing hair videos and makeup videos like everyone else was at the time because i felt like that was a safer way to go one i didn't really need to speak as much because i felt like my voice sounded weird felt like my voice sounded weird and everyone was gonna laugh at me or judge me i wasted a lot of years trying to be like other people trying to do what other content creators are doing i was scared to actually be my real self i had the fear of being judged i have the fear of looking stupid i had that fear for so long so i never chased what i truly wanted this is just one example okay there are different examples in my life where i could have actually raised my hand for certain stuff making that move or taking that risk this sound i know when it started going viral last year was literally to motivate the girls to start you know creating content and all of that i know a lot of you heard the sound resonated with the sound use the sound but still didn't create the content because fear is so powerful fear is one thing that in my entire 29 years of leaving i'd had to struggle with and i didn't even know that i was struggling with it until a certain point about 25 26 years old then i realized that oh my god i am actually scared to be me and you know what's crazy so many times that i was inconsistent on youtube i was actually scared of success because fear begins to tell you that when you get successful at this thing that you've been wanting to get successful for the long guest time then it comes with a lot of more people seeing you i feel so stupid thinking about it because then i would not be consistent on youtube because i was gaining a little bit of you know attention more people would watch me that's like more eyes on me you know being seen by so much more people so that success scared me so i wouldn't post videos crazy right again i didn't even know that this was my issue until one day i was like okay why am i not actually posting i want to post i get excited to record videos and i actually do record videos but i don't edit it and sometimes even when i edit them i don't post them okay what why am i not posting i'm not posting because i feel like yeah let's just take it slow like yeah there are too many people commenting too many people viewing at this point okay you know what let's dial it down a little bit now the fear of being stupid on the other hand you don't want to be seen trying you don't want people to perceive you as she's trying to be an influencer she's trying so hard to be an entrepreneur she's trying so hard to be a boss babe like she's doing too much literally struggling you don't want people to see you at that earlier stage of your success or that growth 
stage of your journey which is crazy to me because how else can you succeed in something if you don't go from the bottom right up people need to see your work from the beginning you know i mean it doesn't even make any sense if you think about it you need to start from somewhere and build right up and people are just so scared of that beginning process that they just sit and fold their arms and watch other people do what they are supposed to be doing there are certain topics i want to talk about on this platform and honestly i just shy from talking about it because i'm like that's going to bring a different type of audience to my channel yeah that's doing a little too much or you know i don't want to talk about this topic because it's not classy enough it's not elegant enough it's not this and then i open youtube the next day literally somebody else talk about it they have gone viral or they have the audience that i actually wanted and i'm just like okay yeah, i should have done that but i didn't do it the fear of looking stupid would definitely hold you back from success there is absolutely no better way to say than that and i feel like it's self-explanatory but a lot of times we just need to break things down a little bit more so people can properly understand and address issues in their lives no one gives a damn okay no one cares try you never know the outcome of something until you try what fear does to our mind is it gives us that false evidence that false proof of something being real while in reality it is not so you're thinking about the outcome of something being negative and you've not even tried so how will you really know and what's so bad about failing the main reason why we don't want to look stupid is because once we start putting ourselves out there when people start to see us see our craft see what we're interested in it might not necessarily pan out or work out and then we fail then we stop and then we feel like people are judging us people are laughing because we failed what's so bad about failing if you don't fail you don't learn if you don't learn you don't grow so you have to be open to rejection open to failing you have to be open to struggling obstacles you need to go through the different phases for you to actually come out successfully at the other side you can't skip to success success is not a snap of the finger you need to put in the work and during that journey during that path it might not be smooth most of the time it's it's not smooth what are you embarrassed about you need to realize that people are people people are human beings with struggles might not be the exact same struggles that you have best believe everybody's going through something the way you're hustling and trying to put your life together same way everyone is trying to put their life together the way you're going through obstacles people are going through obstacles in different forms wanting to look perfect in the eyes of people is just you being fake people that you see that are successful today the celebrities the influencers most of them is because they are so relatable and why are they relatable they're themselves you see them go through different phases you come on these apps and come on camera bare face sometimes just speaking their minds sometimes just roaring it out just however they can why would you want to be anything other than that why wouldn't you want to be your real to let people love you for who you truly are how long can you even actually live in fear that's another question you need to ask yourself like how long can you keep telling yourself that i'm so scared of something is it when you're 50 when you're 40 when you're in your 30s then you realize that okay you've been wasting your time all this while because at the end of the day if you don't do it somebody else will it's not me getting the accolades for that somebody else will so how about you get up and get it done fear of looking stupid will never be an excuse for you to not chase your dreams you can't tell me that the reason why you're not going for what you want going for your goals going for that career leaving that country changing scenery taking risks starting a business is because you're scared of looking stupid that's never an excuse and should never be an excuse or you're scared of being seen you need to put in the work and you putting in the work shows up in different aspects you need to carry your brand your craft on your head you need to keep showing up even if nobody else shows up for you you need to keep clapping for yourself in fact post your craft your brand your business even when people are tired of seeing it and you know one thing about that i realize is when you start posting your craft posting your business pushing it every day they're the first ones to be like oh my god this girl oh my god but the moment you blow up the moment you go viral the moment your business starts to bloom they want to associate with you other human beings are not what you should be using to measure your growth your life your success your mental state don't use other human beings beings use yourself because that's the only way you can grow from point a to point b there are only three logical ways that i could recommend that you deal with fear when you're confronted with it the first way is to get to the root cause and when i mean getting to the root cause i mean why are you scared like what type of fear are you feeling like what is the emotion around that situation that is causing you to fear it what are the negative things that are around it is it the fear of rejection is it the fear of sin trying is it the fear of failure is it the fear of being vulnerable 
vulnerable? Is it the fear of looking stupid? Like what type of fear are you feeling? Because sometimes you don't know what you're feeling until you actually think about it. What exactly is the source? Is what we're talking about. What is the source of that fear? Are you scared because you feel like you're going to fail? Are you scared because you feel like you're going to be too vulnerable? People are going to have access to you emotionally. Like what are you scared of? When you get to that root cause, you know the next thing you're going to do? You're going to attack it. The only way you can beat fear is if you just go through with it. You're not going around it, ignoring it for now and addressing it tomorrow. No, the moment you feel it, you attack it. You do things regardless of the fear that you feel in your mind. You make decisions, you do things, you take risk regardless of the fear that you feel. You're going to go through it. You pretty much have the same feelings as you feel. Nothing is going to change, but you will do what you're supposed to do. You do what you want to do. You make the decision that you want to make. You go ahead with that huge risk. You take the contract. You start the content creation. You start the business regardless of how you feel. That's the only way you can beat fear. Because if you dwell so much on the feelings or the emotions of fear, you're not going to get through with it. It will keep ruling you. It will keep coming up. It will keep showing up in different areas in your life. If you avoid it, especially, it might come up now today as insecurity tomorrow to come up as vulnerability. It will come up in different areas if you ignore it. It never goes away until you actually go through it. One pro tip I'm going to give you in terms of actually working through your fear is doing things in stages and smaller amount to build tolerance and thresholds. For everything that you want to do, you need to take it in stages. You need to challenge yourself and start with small goals. I always say this, before you get to the big picture, before you get to the big goal, you need to start small. You need to build yourself going up like little by little by little. You're going to have more strength. You're going to build your threshold. You're going to have more tolerance. You're going to actually build yourself up slowly, which makes a stronger person at the end of the day. It's okay to not dive right into it, but if you have the capability to dive right into it, go ahead and do it. But I would definitely advise once you're trying to get above fear or you're trying to deal with fear, start small. Start with gradual steps, like slowly by slowly by slowly by slowly. And trust me, you'll be a badass at the end of the day. Give yourself a challenge, even if it's a one month challenge, two weeks challenge, three weeks challenge. Love, you will definitely get through with it. I'm going to say this one more time. People don't care what you do. You're overthinking situations. And that's the reason why you let fear creep into your mind. You don't go through life to just go through life. You need to go through life in all its entirety. You can't just skip steps. You can't skip emotions. You can't skip stages of your life. The whole package is what makes it your life. It's what makes it your journey. It's what makes it your path. Now that's pretty much everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I have my socials linked below, Instagram and TikTok. I definitely advise that you follow me on there. You're going to have a good time as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so step in.